After an intensive analysis of traces of DNA in the Loch Ice waters, scientists revealed on Thursday that Scotland's fabled Loch Ness monster could possibly be a giant eel. The results ruled out the presence of large animals such as dinosaurs, but there was a lot of eel DNA in the loch, according to Neil Gimmel, a geneticist from the University of Otago in New Zealand that led the study. So eels are four to six foot in length. It's plausible that there one, might be one that, that or two that, that, that grow to extreme size, maybe 50% no, bigger than normal, maybe even bigger than that. The international team of scientists took their samples of so-called environmental eDNA in June last year. The use of eDNA sampling is already well established as a tool for monitoring marine life like whales and sharks. Wherever a creature moves through its environment, it leaves behind tiny fragments of DNA from skin, scales, feathers, fur, feces, and urine. European eels are among the creatures in the loch, and whose DNA was picked up by the new research. Juvenile eels, known as elvers, arrive in Scottish rivers and lochs after migrating more than 3,100 miles from the Sargasso Sea near the Bahamas, where the animals spawn and lay eggs. Gamel noted, however, that despite the idea of a giant eel having been around for decades, nobody had ever caught a giant one in the loch. Nobody's found one. So you have to ask the question, do they actually exist? But there are people who claim they've seen them, but there's no photographic evidence to support that. There's anecdotes. The most famous picture of Nessie, known as the surgeon's photo, was taken in 1934 and showed the head on a long neck emerging from the water. It was revealed 60 years later to have been a hoax that used a sea monster model attached to a toy submarine. The Loch Ness Monster is one of Scotland's oldest and most enduring myths. It inspires books, TV shows and films and sustains a major tourism industry around its home. Nina Armilio, UNTV News and Rescue.